Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for um, October 15th, 2020. And we'll, we'll start by looking at these five uh, currency pairs. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button in order to help us grow this channel and the bell button in order for you to be notified for when our newest videos come out, which is on a daily basis now. So we'll look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And yesterday we fell quite significantly, uh, mainly due to the US dollar index appreciating significantly. And today is basically the opposite. We have a massive decline in the US dollar index and this mark and this pair is therefore rallying. However, we are trading between the 50 moving average and this green line, which is the 100 moving average. And the 100 moving average as at the moment is support and uh, the 50 moving average is resistant. We are trading above the 50 moving average, but we need an additional green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to signal that this market is going to go higher. It is... Uh, Fairly strange. This was not a market that I expected to go higher, but it is also probably the most riskiest of all of these pairs, probably due, uh, due to the fact that we have Brexit. At any point, there can, uh, there can arrive bad news about the Brexit negotiations and so on, and then this market completely tumbles. So it is risky. We have uh, almost a growth of 1% today, um, and at the moment, technical indicators are looking really bullish. We have the MACD above the signal line. We are the RSI is also pointing to higher price levels or momentum, and the stochastic has turned around. And this is an indication that this market will most likely go higher. But we need to break the 50 moving average in order to go higher from here. The Bollinger Bands can indicate that we mostly have a little bit of room to gain to the upside. So we may see a green candlestick here on, on uh, tomorrow's sessions, um, session and on Friday's session we probably break down towards the 50 moving average and then go higher. That is possible. A breakdown from here, well, we find support at uh, 12.88 at the 100 moving average. So US dollar yen, we are continuing this breakdown, which was completely expected. Um, we also expected some support here, and you can see we have broken through that support as well. So we can just uh, remove that. At the moment, we can see that we may find a little bit of support around this area here, but it's highly anticipated that we'll go all the way towards this uh, lower trend line. We are trading within the channel, and the channel are, channels are fairly predictable. You have the highs, you have the lows, and every time you hit the highs, you go to the lows, and every time you hit the lows, you go to the highs. So, um, at this point, we may see this market move all the way towards 103.749, or lower than that, and then bounce to the upside towards this upper, uh, upper trend line. So... That is most likely what is going to happen, and most of the indicators are also uh, indicating that we are going to lower levels. You can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, indicating bullish momentum, RSI lower, and stochastic also lower. If you look at uh, probably for three days, you can see that we have turned around here quite aggressively, and this means that for several more days, we will continue going lower. Um, the Bollinger Band, it is not a lot of volatility, but we will most likely stay within this area and it will continue uh, with, within this uh, trend line. So, Euro, US dollar. We have rallied up towards this exponential moving average and we have found support here. This is not as bullish as the Great British Pound and the US dollar. It should be, but it isn't. Um, we can look at the, we are trading uh, between the 50 and the 100 moving average. The 50 is around uh, 1180 and the low of the 50, the 100 moving average is at 1166. 
so we're basically right in the middle. Uh, I do expect this market to turn around towards the 100 moving average before um, going higher or just trading sideways. You can just look at the technical indicators. They are all really uh, bearish at this point. So you can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line. The RSI is uh, fairly flat. Stochastic is really negative, And the Bollinger Band is also pointed to lower levels. So a breakthrough to the 50 moving average will see us go to these levels at around uh, 1188. And a break down from here will we'll find support at the 100 moving average almost certainly. And if we were to break through the 100 moving average, then we'll go all the way to, towards the uh, 150 moving average at 11.44. So we look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Slow this program today. So looking at Aussie dollar, US dollar, we can see that we have tried to rally. We did not manage to rally above these two exponential moving averages. Uh, we are trying again at this point, but uh, this market just looks, uh, or this pair looks exhausted. We are also trading in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. And the technical indicators are technically showing exhaustion, both from the MACD and also the RSI and stochastic is really bullish and so on. So this will most likely go back towards the 100 moving average. A break through that will see us go towards these lows at 0 0.70 and a break through that will leave us all the way down to the 100 moving average at 0 0.69. A break above the 50 moving average, we will have to test these top again at the 0 0.72. Um, yeah. There's not a lot, no, not a lot happening in this pair at this point. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have started trading sideways. It was expected for this pair to go towards this channel again. We may do that. Uh, we have fallen quite significantly from the top of this uh, top to here is 2.24%. So we may see this market go up towards the 50 moving average and then go back down. Um, technical indicators, we are significantly oversold at this point, and that is for the reason why we are turning at, at this point. But this market will mostly uh, go to lower levels uh, given um, a few more trading days. MACD is looking very bearish. Stochastic has turned around, is still in, uh, in bearish area. And the Bollinger Band has to, uh, shown that it is now trading sideways. And yes, we most likely need to get the RSI higher before we go lower with this pair. There's no reason to buy, buy this. Um, it will get close to the 50 moving average and then we'll break down again. So um, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the bu uh, like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you very much and good luck.